early as 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, the funeral cortege of Mr. Robinson will begin gathering at the Clark and Batu Funeral Home on Tragrit Road for a procession to the National Academy for the Performing Arts for a memorial service. Mr. Robinson's body will be transported on a gun carriage in a slow-walk military cortege to Napa. The route from Clark and Batu Funeral Home will proceed east along Tragerite Road, south along St. Vincent Street, east along Independence Square, north along Abercrombie Street, east along Knox Street, north along Frederick Street, onto the National Academy for the Performing Arts. There, members of the public and some 5,000 students are expected to line the streets to witness the funeral cortege en route to Napa. Jumbo screens will also be set up at the Queen's Park Savannah, Memorial Park and Harris Promenade for public viewing of the procession. At 8.40 a.m., the Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basesa is to arrive at Napa to meet with Mr. Robinson's family, including his daughter Anne Margaret, son David and granddaughter Anushka. Other government dignitaries and leaders from across the region will also be in attendance. CTV and Talk City 91.1 FM will carry live coverage of the procession and ceremony. Now on Friday, Mr. Robinson's body will lie in state at the Legislative Chamber of the Tobago House of Assembly between the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. for public viewing on Saturday, that's the 3rd of May. There will be a state ecumenical service at the Dwight York Stadium starting at 9.30 a.m., followed by a private Thanksgiving service at the Scarborough Methodist Church. This service will be followed by a final procession with full military honors starting at 3.30 in the afternoon. At the Coast Guard base at Shaw Park to the Methodist Church Cemetery in Bacolet, CTV will also carry live coverage of the Tobago leg of Mr. Robinson's funeral. The burial site of former Prime Minister and President A.N.R. Robinson is to be made into a heritage site. This is from Brigadier Anthony Philip Spencer, who is the coordinator of the Tobago leg of the funeral arrangements. Mr. Robinson is said to be buried in the Methodist Church Cemetery located on Bacolet Street. So that if international visitors come to the island and they may have heard about the grandfather of the International Criminal Court and choose to visit where he was laid to rest, we will, by appropriate arrangements, establish that burial site as a heritage site. The Tobago leg of the five-day state funeral for the late president will begin on Thursday evening when his body is flown to the island. The public service for Mr. Robinson will take place at the Dwight York Stadium on Friday morning and will begin at 9.30 and end at 12 noon, following which a military procession befitting Mr. Robinson's status would take place from the Orange Hill and Milford Road Junction all the way to the cemetery. As a former Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, former Head of State, this will be, and this is in fact, a very unique and extraordinary circumstance where we will turn out the highest military honors that can be afforded to anyone for this type of ceremony. Naval guns will be used for this salute, for this interment. The Brigadier admits that it's been a task to find a proper venue to host the funeral and believes the stadium was the best choice. He says measures are being put in place to ensure that the repair works on the track of the stadium are to jeopardize with the preparations for the funeral.